All right, everyone. Today we have one of my old, beautiful little favorites. It is the Prisma Grinlock. Now, most of you might be going, a Grinlock? The Grinlock is terrible. It's a joke. But the Prisma Grinlock, oh no. That's something special. And let me show you why. Now, we'll just gonna run through its stats real quick. Slash. Okay, that's a beautiful number. But holy impact. Yikes. Status of 37%. Gorgeous. Hmm. Riven Dispo 4. Also very good. Magazine of 21 and a reload? What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's something unusual. It's definitely a special weapon. Then, crit chance of 21%. Oh, that looks like garbage. And to be honest, it is garbage, but we can fix that. Crit multiplier of 2.9? Freaking stellar. Now, you don't need this may form into it. I've got a ribbon, so I had to. So let's break it down. Pris Grinlock is a lever action gun. That is extremely accurate. I'm not adjusting at all. So let's see. Of course, it's a rifle. We have to try out Heavy Cal. We just absolutely have to try it out. And we'll slap on some multi-shot as well. Actually, no, we won't. We're ditching that today. And as you can see, it is everywhere. Heavy Cal absolutely ruins the Grinlock. Now, if you're a gambling person, gam wow, gambling person, gambling man, as the saying goes, you do get shots dead center. Dead perfect center at any range. If you have enough multi-shot, it does tend to work out. And if... Because almost always, you're going to get something inside the circle. But it does kind of turn into a long-range shotgun. And definitely not how I enjoy playing this. Mm-mm. So Heavy Cal is out. Of course, with those crit stats, let's see what we can do. 21%, that's mm, that's not enough. Let's slap on Point Strike, 150. Only gets you to 52. That's not enough for Argon Scope. That's only another 20 or 25, somewhere in there. Gotta get our crit damage. But here's the kicker. Deadly Sequence, plus 200% critical chance, and it has a Syndicate proc, so this will randomly make you explode. It's, oh, it's amazing. And look at what that does. None of these mods are terribly hard to obtain. None of them are crazy. There are no ribbons here. We're not doing anything intense. But that's, that's going some seriously good places. We'll use normal serration. Because most people are going to have that. Amalgam serration, it's great. Not everyone has it. And then, what is its strengths? What are the strengths of the Grinlock? That's status. That status is freaking amazing. So you can run whatever you want. A lot of people choose corrosive. And you know you have the status and the slash to get that done. In fact, some people may even want to consider running heat, because you're at 100%, and you're getting two shots. You're most likely to apply, well, impact and then some other ones. If you don't, if you are short one of these vigilante armaments, perfect villain. If you've got to use one of the 6060 mods, that works as well, and you do not need nine forma. Or five, sorry. I can count. Totally can count. So this is six. Yeah, you only need you 
two forma. This is a two forma build. You don't need five. I, of course, went for five because this is my overall build. And I did go rad here just because what I was using it demanded that. But corrosive is not a bad build. And you can swap out the 90s to your, fla to your flavor. If you're facing Grenier, corrosive heat is better. If you're... Oh, that's not right. Yeah, let's fix that. There we go. So, if you're facing Grenier, corrosive heat is going to be much better. You want that armor stripping. If you're facing the other factions, rad is probably a little bit better. Increases the chances of a one-shot. So let's see how this does. They're level 120s. Not bad at all. You'll notice it does not have punch through. Really sad. Terribly sad there. And it does need to strip a little bit of armor in order to get through these 120s. But you can just keep plinking away at that. <laughs> Don't have to be super close. And it, you have noticed I'm getting just mountains of slash brock. Mountains. So let's, let's see if we can capitalize on that. Let's see what happens when we do. Because the Prisma Grinlock, it's actually really hard to build wrong. Really, really hard. And, of course, Hunter Munitions. Let's slap this on. Now, if you go Hunter Munitions, you gotta have Point Strike, you gotta have Deadly Sequence. Can't really take off either of these mods unless you're Chroma. And Vital Sense is pretty much required. So the build is extremely crowded for Grinlock. It really wants an extra mod. Sadly, this is not an X list. You can't put it over here. We're just going to use the corrupted bombards over here. Not bad overall. Super easy to get the headshots. Not a bad reload at all. And I mean, you just stack up a few slash procs. Look at that tick. 4,500. Not bad at all. I love this thing. I wouldn't take it into content this high, I'll be honest. I would rather, much rather stay at content below 100. And with Hunter Munitions, Hunter Munitions is better than Heat. But there is one more thing we can do. Instead of Corrosive, we can get a little squirrely in here. With the new Heat proc, let's try and change some things. Wildfire. That is comical on this, I'll be on completely honest. And we're getting dirty now. Vigilante armaments for just all the multi-shot you possibly can. I am skipping ribbons because, you know, not everyone's going to get a ribbon. Not everyone's going to want a ribbon. And it's not super fair. And as you can see, you only need the one heat proc. It's not permanent, so you do have to get the proc and then kill them. And with the slash procs, you do have to be a little bit careful. Like, if you get that heat proc too late, they will stay up for a long time. But if you get it early on, this turns them into Swiss cheese! Easily the best build of the three. It's 
So that's Prisma Grinlock. This thing, just beautiful. And again, not a 5 forma build. Um, we're taking 3 off here and 4 off here. So that's 7. Leaves you with 3 extra. It's almost a 2 forma build. You just run Vigilante Armaments. 1 pip down. I do that all the time. I've even got a mod set aside just for it. <laughs> Won't scrap this. This is intentional. You just swap that out. Two form a build. And you have a beautiful lever action. Almost sniper rifle. Not quite. Love this thing. And I find myself constantly coming back to it. Even at MR28, with almost everything in the game, there's always a place for... <laughs> for the hit scan Grinlock. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, go ahead and like and subscribe or leave a content or content below, comment below, and have a great day guys.